so I'm still on Highway 301, probably 10 miles north of uh, Stark, and this is kind of what the uh, terrain looks like that I'm passing through. Kind of tall trees like this and a lot of palmetto, palms, kind of semi-open. Uh, Highway 301 is uh, moderately heavy traffic, uh, kind of like bursts of uh, a lot of um, commercial trucks, big rigs. Uh, it's not a bad road. There's a good shoulder. It's probably four foot wide, and uh, I'm gonna guess about every t 20 miles or so there's a little town. So there's plenty to uh, stop and eat or get some water or whatever. But uh, yeah, I just want to give you a look around, see what this place looks like. It's uh, Highway 301, 10 miles north of Stark. I'm probably gonna make it to. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it to Jacksonville are right uh, at the boundary of uh, uh, Duval County and then kind of move up and around and hit A1A somewhere on north of uh, Jacksonville and probably be in Georgia in uh, one or two. I've come up 301 to where it junctions with I-10 in the town of Baldwin and uh, looks like most of the traffic has uh, evaporated and so now I'm uh, still on Highway 301 uh, there is no shoulder give you a kind of an idea here I was just in a turn lane there's no shoulder but there's also very little traffic so uh, it's an interesting trade-off I'll take it uh, I guess uh, Fernandina is the town that I'm shooting for and that's 47 miles away. I don't know if I'm gonna make 47 miles today. It's already past noon. Although it's possible because it doesn't get dark until 7. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, 301 out of the town of Baldwin is uh, fairly nice, very rural. Uh, no shoulders, but no traffic. So just a quick note, I'm still on 301, and uh, I think I said this is going to be a nice, quiet country road, but it has turned into turned to not be that. Uh, there's a uh, moderate traffic, no shoulder, and there must be a uh, a pulp mill or something up here because there's a lot. I mean, a never-ending stream of logging trucks, and uh, if you know anything. Uh, you know, logger, lo people who drive logging trucks, I don't know what it is, but they're just dangerous. So, uh, I think if I had to do it over again, because this is almost as dangerous as Card Sound Road. As a matter of fact, I would call this the second most dangerous road that I've ridden on in, uh, on this trip in 6,000 miles. If there's a better way, I would, I would, if I had to do it over again, I would look for a better way, because this is dangerous. North of the town of Callahan, 301 becomes a uh, divided four lane with a, with a pretty nice shoulder. And I'm going through some nice uh, terrain here. Plenty of uh, opportunities for stealth camping. So I'm headed for the town of Yulee, north of Jacksonville, where I'll pick up 17, and uh, that should take me all the way to Savannah. So uh, I'm here at the uh, close of the day here, and uh, I've got my eye open. Actually, that looks pretty sweet. I like palmettos, because that's a lot of good uh, thick ground cover. But I'd like to... Um, I stopped at uh, Callahan and I bought uh, some beer, but I forgot to fill up on water. I guess my priorities weren't right. But uh, that's okay because uh, beer is hydrating, <laughs> if nothing else. I've got about a, probably a half a liter of water, but there'll be some place so up still here. On, uh, I'm on 301 and I'm just crossed into uh, Georgia. The St. Mary's River is right back there. 
I think this is my state number so 11. So about a quarter of a mile into Georgia on route on the highway 301. And I'm riding in the road because the shoulders have these. Which means that it's bumpy. So I only have one option and that is to ride on the road. Thank you, Georgia.